Okay, gentlemen, um, let's have a look see at this debtors ledger. Okay, so this is the debtors ledger for Cradle Bows. Okay, so basically all the activities that he's done within one month, the month of March. So if we just start off by looking the first of March, the balance that was brought down from the previous month. So in April, how much he owed us at the end of April? was 1100 so the balance at the beginning of the march is 1100 okay so notice nothing goes to the debits or credits it just goes into the balance of 1100 and this would be basically given to you or told to you okay and then on the 7th what happened we gave him an invoice it went to the debtors journal so already that tells us that he's buying from us on credits okay our debits or his debit accounts uh debtors journal goes up on the debit side so 620 remember that's this journal right that's journals and assets and assets go up on the debit side okay so that's journal goes up by 620 so now he owes us 1100 okay plus 650 or 620 rather so he owes us 1720 and there it is okay so what happens here on the 11th we don't have the details but we know it's in the debtors journal so automatically I can then tell you that that's definitely another invoice okay there you go invoice 114 debtors journal of 2050 so you owed us 1720 okay so if we now just take that 1720 and we add another 2050 we should get 3700 there you go so it's working accordingly gentlemen Okay, receipt 72, he comes and pays us back, goes into our cash receipts journal because we're receiving money. Okay, credits because our debtors control is now going down because we're receiving money. Okay, and how much is the balance? Uh, let's have a look, see here, 2,700. So that makes sense, it's 3,770 minus 1,100. So 3,770 minus 1,000. 100 is equal to 2670 so we're still on track gentlemen on the 20th he buys invoice again okay so this must be what it will be dj something okay dj3 okay because he bought on accounts bought for 1200 so if you add that to 2670 you should then get 4010 so let's just double check plus one three four equal to 4010 and lastly it comes and pays back some money it must go into our cash receipts journal obviously gentlemen okay there you can't see the c but i assure you it's there cash receipts journal okay and it's on the credit side because our debtors journal is going down because it's paying us back and if you minus 4700 from this 4000 okay we should get 3310 rand i don't even need to actually do a use a calculator for that last one so how much does Cradle Bows owe at the end of the month? So it's simple, he owes us 3,300 Rand. Okay, because his balance is started at 1,000, went up, debit side, then went up on the debit side again. He then paid back this 1,000, went up again by 1,300, and he paid back 700, and he owes us 3,310. So that's a debtors journal. It's his ledger rather for credit bars. Okay, it shows us the activity of his accounts. So what's been happening has he been borrowing more credits, has he been paying us back? If he was borrowing more, we gave him an invoice. If he was paying back, we obviously gave him a receipt because it went into our cash receipts journal. Okay, thank you.